Hey, Empire. Uh, this is a reply to your uh, Benefits of Kata uh, video. Uh, I would have done it sooner, but I wasn't feeling too whippy. <clears throat> uh, you had some valid points in your video uh, that I'm not going to really debate because they were good points. Um, the reason uh, for me that the, there are benefits to Kata are pretty much uh, three or four fold um, in martial arts. One of the goals is trying to uh, perfect the technique. Uh, you want to do the technique as uh, correct as possible. And the reason for that is uh, you want to make sure that you don't do uh, the technique uh, in such a way that it can be countered. Uh, you also want to put maximum speed and maximum strength in the technique. Uh, with kata, the practicing of kata, uh, two of the main goals is uh, to perfect uh, stances and blocks and strikes and uh, to strengthen the body. The more you do a kata, the stronger you get in that kata. You also develop uh, muscle memory. Uh, when you develop muscle memory in kata, you don't have to think about it in a situation. Uh, another benefit to kata is the ability to practice more than one technique within one technique in kata. Uh, if you studied for any uh, length of time, you'll be told that for every one technique in kata, there are at least three techniques uh, and possibly three variations of that technique uh, based on the fact that we all have different types of bodies. Some of us are short and stout. Some of us are tall and skinny. You know, some of us have long arms. Some of us have short arms. Some of us have uh, big palms and short fingers. Uh, you know, some of us have very long fingers. So we all have uh, physical uh, attributes that make certain techniques not as effective as other techniques or other variations of that technique. Uh, to me also, uh, a benefit is having a plan. Uh, if you study the deeper meaning of kata, uh, you're able to know uh, the more advanced techniques, but uh, when you're in a fight uh, or in a, a self-defense situation, uh, you don't have time to say, okay, he's going to do this, I'm going to do that. He's going to do this, then I'm going to counter. You don't have time to think. Uh, you just have to do. And when you practice kata, that muscle memory uh, becomes very important. Um, another benefit of kata uh, involves uh, pretty much the history of martial arts in general. Most martial arts were developed during war. And in war, uh, you want to uh, keep secrets. And in order to, you know, teach uh, your town or your troops, how to defend themselves, but also keep those techniques a secret, you have to develop uh, groups of movements that represent more than one technique and also have the ability to hide the more advanced techniques so that uh, your enemy uh, doesn't necessarily develop counters to those techniques or take those techniques very seriously. Um, 
as you, since you did study uh, Filipino martial arts, uh, you're poss possibly familiar with a lot of uh, jurus, uh, which is the Filipino uh, version of a kata. And a lot of jurus are actually done to music, and they almost look like native dances. Uh, that was their way of hiding uh, dangerous and deadly technique within their form without uh, alarming their enemy that it was a way to fight. Uh, similar uh, uh, things were developed, uh, or similar uh, ways were developed in Okinawa uh, and in Japan. Uh, in Okinawa, most, if not all, martial arts weapons were some form of farm implement or uh, tool that was not used in fighting, but it was used to dig holes. It was used to cut wood. Uh, so that secrecy element is also a benefit to kata. Uh, in your video, you made light of uh, uh, practicing under adverse conditions, under waterfalls, uh, in the snow and the like. Uh, I think that, that my own opinion is that uh, that was done to simulate the psychological aspects of being in a confrontation. When you're uh, fighting, uh, your goal is uh, to do proper technique and to defend yourself. Uh, if you worry about the outcome of a confrontation, uh, you're more likely to be severely injured and killed, and or killed, uh, because you're not uh, paying attention to technique. You're thinking, oh my God, I'm about to get hit. Oh my God, I'm about to be stabbed. Oh my God, I could get killed. And that psychological aspect is something that uh, practicing in adverse conditions can uh, be strengthened. You can strengthen the ability to uh, uh, do technique in a stressful situation if you put yourself under some sort of stress during the practice. Uh, m many martial arts uh, forms do what's uh, referred to as bogu kumite, or armored sparring, uh, in which you wear a chest protector and you wear a mask similar to a kendo mask. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, flip on the side to protect the uh, shoulders, but it does have the iron uh, oval section in the front uh, that protects the face. You use, you know, boxing gloves, groin protection, and pretty much uh, the only rules are, uh, uh, you know, no side knee kicks because you don't want to injure the person you're, you're practicing with in Boga Kumite, uh, but you're able to do full force kicks, full force punches, um, uh, depending on the, the uh, teacher, you might be allowed to do uh, other types of uh, strikes and techniques uh, to better simulate uh, a real-world confrontation. Uh, to me, basically, the, the benefits of, of kata are uh, the ability to uh, develop muscle memory, the uh, execution of proper technique, uh, keeping your hips lined up with your uh, shoulders, you know, keeping your back straight, uh, doing proper blocks, uh, not too high, not too low, uh, doing, uh, oh, making sure that your wrist is straight rather than bent when you're doing a uh, block, 
uh, doing a proper punch. You know, making sure that you don't hold your thumb in like so. Uh, making sure that it's uh, properly placed. It, it's basically the ability to develop, develop uh, to develop uh, proper technique. Uh, another uh, benefit would be to strengthen the body. Um, if you've ever been in a horse stance, now I personally am physically disabled, so horse stances is, are not something that I'm able to do. Uh, but if you've ever been in a horse stance, most people who have say that they can't hold a proper horse stance for more than five or ten minutes. And that, that, that would be even black belts uh, have a trouble holding a proper horse stance for more than you know, ten minutes or so. Uh, so, you know, kata is a way to strengthen the body. It's also a way to uh, strengthen the mind. Uh, think about the goal rather than the outcome. Think about uh, the technique rather than the outcome. If you do the technique correctly, the outcome takes care of itself. That's true in, in just about anything you do. If, if you do proper technique in just about anything, an outcome will take care of itself. Uh, I would say that uh, another benefit would be to be able to practice, uh, I probably have already said this in this video, uh, I might be repeating myself, but uh, it's also a way to practice more than one technique uh, at a time. Uh, you could do a technique like this, and in your mind, you're thinking, okay, if I reverse it, um, I'm doing a, another type of uh, grappling technique or joint locking technique. If I do this, I'm catching my opponent's hand on my chest, and then I'm turning and uh, putting him into a straight arm lock and dropping him to the ground. Uh, I could also be thinking of a technique where I catch my opponent's hand on my chest, grab his elbow, and pull him in, wrenching the wrist. I could also do it with the reverse hands uh, by grabbing the elbow and pulling the elbow outward as I've locked my opponent's hand on my chest and I'm twisting uh, my opponent's wrist in the same direction but with the opposite hands. I could be just practicing this one technique in kata, uh, yet I'm thinking about three or four different techniques. Uh, to me, these are the benefits of uh, kata. Uh, uh, of course, you know, the psychological uh, aspects that you talked about are very important as well. Uh, uh, that's basically uh, my uh, opinion on uh, the benefits of kata. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a nice day.